Hi, this is Vicky. Today we are going to do a test simulation. This test will be in English. I have created a playlist for all the test simulation. In case if you miss out to watch my previous videos, I will leave a link in the description below. Now let us start the test. Mobile phones and other electronic devices must remain switched off during the test. Accept and continue. Baseline vehicle characteristics. Accept and continue. How can you tell that you are getting tired while you are driving? Quicker reaction time. No, we will not have quicker reaction time when we are getting tired. Heavy eyelids. Yes. Frequent yawning. Yes, especially when we are getting tired, we get frequent yawnings. Continue. How must you behave? Let us zoom into the picture. We can see a ball on the road, but there are no people. We can expect someone will come and pick up the ball. Especially children may come. So in this kind of a situation, we should always be ready to brake and slow to walking pace immediately. So remain ready to brake. Yes. Drive past at the same speed. No, we should not do that. Slow to walking pace immediately. Yes. Continue. What should you anticipate? That pedestrians will suddenly walk onto the road? Doors of vehicles will be opened? That vehicles will begin moving? Let us zoom into the picture. We can see there are some cyclists, pedestrians and the traffic is very congested. Let's check the options. That pedestrians will suddenly walk onto the road? Yes. The doors of vehicles will be opened? Yes. That vehicles will begin moving? Yes. Continue. Why must you drive with particular caution here? Because the roadway is slippery? Because the view is obscured by the bend? Because the roadway is made narrower by the wrongly parked car? Let us zoom into the picture. The road is narrow and it is completely filled with snow. And at the end of the corner, we can clearly see a white car which is wrongly parked. Let us check the options. Because the roadway is slippery? Yes, because of the ice on the road, the roadway will be slippery. So we should be cautious here. Because the view is obscured by the bend? Yes. Because of the bend, there is no clear view. Because the roadway is made narrower by the wrongly parked car. Yes. Continue. What should you do in this kind of visibility? I keep towards the right hand edge of the carriageway. I switch on my main beam lights. I reduce my speed. Let us zoom into the picture. See, because of the light, we cannot see a clear picture ahead on the road. So in this kind of situation, it is always advisable to drive slow and always look at the right hand edge of the roadway. Let us check the options. I keep towards the right hand edge of the carriageway. Yes. I switch on my main beam lights. No, we should not switch on the main beam. I reduce my speed. Yes. In this situation, it is advisable to reduce our speed. Continue. You are approaching a school. Children are leaving the school grounds. What must you reckon with? That children rush onto the road without thinking? Yes. Children ride their bicycles onto the road without paying attention? Yes. Children always conduct themselves properly on the road? No. Continue. What can affect ability to drive in a similar way to alcohol? Drugs. Yes. Soft drinks. No. Medications. Yes. Certain medications can affect the ability to drive in a similar way to alcohol. Continue. Let us start the film to understand the situation. We are driving in a city traffic. There is some work going on on the left lane. There is a car coming from behind and a cyclist just left and we are approaching a signal. It is red and now it is green. Oh wait, there is a cyclist coming from the left without stopping. 
Let us watch the film one more time. We are driving in a city traffic and some work going on and a car behind is at a sufficient safe distance. Traffic light is red and about to turn green and it is green now. See, danger coming from the left. A cyclist trying to cross the road. Let us go to the question. If you switch to the question, you cannot see the film again. Yes. What should you do in this situation? I perform an emergency braking maneuver. Yes, it is very important to perform emergency braking here. The cyclist suddenly arriving from the left without stopping. This is a clear indication that we need to perform emergency braking. I sound my horn and continue driving. No, sounding horn doesn't work at all. You risk endangering the cyclist. So, you should not do this. I accelerate. No, that would lead to a collision with the cyclist. Avoid acceleration and perform emergency braking. Continue. What should you do if you see a vehicle with its hazard lights on? I have to reduce my speed. Yes. I ready myself for hazards occurring suddenly. Yes. I continue driving just as before. No, we have to be very cautious here and reduce our speed and always anticipate any hazards occurring suddenly. Continue. All vehicles have been waiting at the junction for a few seconds. What should you do in this situation? I use clear hand signals to forego my right of way. I am the first to drive to the center of the junction where I stop. I am the first to pass through the junction. Let us zoom into the picture. We are on the junction and can clearly see cars coming from all the roads. Let's check the options once again. I use clear hand signals to forego my right of way. Yes, in this situation, it is better to use clear hand signals to forego our right of way. I am the first to drive to the center of the junction where I stop. No. We should not drive to the center of the junction that will block the junction. I am the first to pass through the junction. No, we should wait and use clear hand signals to forego our right of way. Continue. What is the right course of action? I may be the first to pass through the junction. I have to allow the red truck to turn. I have to allow the cyclist to turn. Let's zoom into the picture. Here in this situation, as we are going straight, we have the priority. So let's check the options. I may be the first to pass through the junction. Yes. I have to allow the red truck to turn. No. I have to allow the cyclist to turn. No. Continue. Let us start the film to understand the situation. We are driving in a city traffic. There is a car in front with brake lights on and the traffic light is green for a while. Yes. Wait, it is about to change. Let us watch the film one more time. Driving in a city traffic, we are approaching a traffic signal which is green for a while. There is no vehicle from behind and by the time we reach the traffic signal, it is about to change from green to red. Let us go to the question. If you switch to the question, you cannot see the film again. Yes. What should you do? Continue driving. No. If we continue driving and we don't stop, there is a risk of crossing the junction when the traffic light is red. And this is very dangerous for us and other road users. Better we slow down here. Yes, slow down. We are still far away from the traffic lights. So, break in time and come to a stop in front of the traffic signal. Continue. Who has priority? Let's zoom into the picture. We are on a priority road, turning left. And we want to continue driving on the priority road. So, here in this situation, we have the priority. So, let's check the options. It is me, the red car, the green tractor. 
As we are continue driving on the priority road, we have the priority here. Continue. What is the right course of action? I have to allow the cyclist to pass through. I may proceed before the motorcycle. The cyclist has to allow me to pass. Let us zoom into the picture. Here in this situation, we are going straight ahead. So, we have the priority before the motorcycle. And there is a cyclist coming from the right. As per the rule, right before left, the cyclist has the priority. Let us check the options. I have to allow the cyclist to pass through. Yes, because he is coming from the right, he has the priority. I may proceed before the motorcycle. Yes, as we are going straight ahead, we have the priority before the motorcyclist. The cyclist has to allow me to pass. No, he has the priority, so we have to allow the cyclist to pass through here. Continue. What does this traffic sign indicate? It is clearly indicating a movable bridge. Continue. What does this traffic sign combination indicate? See here the traffic sign triangle indicates giveaway and at the bottom we see stop 100 meters. So at 100 meters ahead is a traffic sign saying stop giveaway. Continue. What does the distance to be maintained from the vehicle ahead depend on? State of the road surface? Yes. Visibility conditions? Yes. And the speed? Yes, of course. Continue. You are driving a motor vehicle with manual gearbox. What style of driving results in higher fuel consumption within a built up area? Accelerating heavily? Yes. Heavy accelerating results in higher fuel consumption. Driving at high engine speed? Yes. Driving in a high gear? No. Continue. What is the correct course of action in this situation? I wait until the oncoming road user has driven past me. I take priority before the oncoming road user. The oncoming road user and I agree on who takes priority. Let us zoom into the picture. There is a vehicle in front. I think they are unloading or something. And an oncoming motorcyclist. In this situation, it is always advisable to drive slow and wait until the oncoming road user has driven past. Let us check the options. I wait until the oncoming road user has driven past me. Yes. I take priority before the oncoming road user. No. The oncoming road user and I agree on who takes priority. No. In this situation, clearly the oncoming traffic has the priority and they have to go first. We have to wait until the oncoming road user has driven past me. Continue. You want to park in front of St. Andrew's Cross in a built-up area. What is the minimum distance you must leave clear? See, we understood this question from the numerical question series. Here we want to park in front of St. Andrew's Cross within a built-up area. It is 5 meters. If we want to park in front of St. Andrew's Cross outside a build-up area, it is 50 meters. If you miss out to watch the video, I'll leave the link in the description box or you may check the i button on top of this video. Continue. What can be caused if the road surface suddenly becomes worse? Changes in tire noise? Yes. Longer reaction distance? No. There is nothing to do with the reaction distance. Danger of sliding and skidding? Yes. If the road surface suddenly becomes worse, there is always a chance of sliding and skidding. Continue. What can lead to your dangerously underestimating your own speed? Driving on a good wide road? Yes, if you are driving on a good and wide road, there is always a possibility that you underestimate your own speed. Loud engine and tire noise? No, when you have loud engine and tire noise, you know that you are driving fast. Driving for a long time at high speed. Yes, whenever you drive for a long time at a very high speed, there are chances that you underestimate your own speed. Continue. You are approaching the vehicles in the picture. What do you do? Let us zoom into the picture. We can see a truck and a trailer on the hard shoulder. And we have a car from behind which is at a sufficient safety distance. Let us check the options. 
Watch if the truck and trailer remain on the hard shoulder. Yes, we have to watch if the truck and trailer remain on the hard shoulder. Allow the truck and trailer to enter the roadway when it indicates left. Yes, we have to allow the truck to enter the roadway when it indicates left. When the truck and trailer are indicating left, flash your headlights and proceed at a brisk pace. No, you should allow the truck and trailer to enter the roadway when it indicates left. You should not flash your headlights and proceed at a brisk pace. Continue. You are driving with dipped headlights on a main road. Within what distance must you be able to stop? Remember, it is always within the range of dipped headlights. Let us check the options. Within the range of side lights? No. Within the range of dipped headlights? Yes. Within the range of main beam lights? No. Continue. Let's start the film to understand the situation. We are driving on an autobahn. Right indicator on, which means we want to exit. But there is a traffic congestion on the exit lane. Yes. Let us watch the film one more time. We are driving on an autobahn and right indicator on, which means we want to exit. And we can clearly see there is a traffic congestion on the exit lane. Yes. Let us go to the question. If you switch to the question, you cannot see the film again. Yes. What should you do? I continue driving. See, here on the right hand side, the traffic is completely blocked. So we have no choice. We have to choose the next exit. So, yes, we have to continue driving. I get in line on the hard shoulder. No, we are not allowed to get into the hard shoulder. Better choose the next option to exit the freeway. So here we have to continue driving and exit the autobahn at the next exit only. I stop on my lane and wait for a gap. No, this is very very dangerous. Leave the autobahn at the next exit only. Continue. You come to a stop unexpectedly on a pedestrian crossing. What do you do? Move half onto the footpath in order to clear the crossing? No. Reverse under no circumstances even though the roadway is clear behind you? No. Move slightly forward or backward in order to clear the crossing as quickly as possible? Yes. Continue. You are entering a public road, for example from a field or building site, and considerably soil the road. Who is responsible for eliminating this traffic obstruction? The competent road building authority? No. The persons living along this section of the road? No. You, as you have caused it? Yes. We are the reason for it, so we are responsible for eliminating it. Continue. How can you keep the burden on the environment low? By avoiding peak traffic periods? Yes, you have to avoid peak traffic periods. By avoiding roads with frequent traffic jams? Yes. By forming carpools? Yes. Continue. You want to pull a trailer, what must you be aware of? The maximum permitted vertical load of the hitch? Yes. The load of the trailer? Yes. The towable weight of the towing vehicle? Yes. Continue. What could happen if the cruise control system speed limiter is switched off too late? Tailgating? Yes, there are chances of tailgating. Excessively high cornering speed? Yes. Exceeding the permissible maximum speed? Yes. Now we have finished the exam, let us submit. Do you really want to end this test? Yes. Now let us check the result. There you go. We have passed the exam with zero fault points. That's it in this video. If you like my work, I request you to please subscribe to my channel. 
थैंक यू एंड हैप्पी लर्निंग